All right, everybody. Well, welcome here to online meetup number three. It's just now 8 p.m. and this is the going fit bit by bit online meetup uh, number three, as I said. And today we are at the uh, grocery store. And I wanted to come to the grocery store. There are a few things that I wanted to cover tonight. So we've had uh, our three, uh, two meetups so far uh, where we talked about getting our Fitbit. And then we talked about uh, going ahead and set goal setting, right? So uh, hopefully some of you out there have your Fitbits. Um, hopefully you've gotten the ARIA scale. That's uh, also uh, a great thing to do as well because when you get your ARIA scale along with your Fitbit, um, what that brings the ecosystem together within your Wi-Fi on your own home network. And again, um, what that allow you to do um, is if you're in one of our programs um, over at goingfitbitbybit.com, um, we can help you do this certainly, um, but what that'll let you do is um, every morning when you weigh yourself, you get your weight, uh, you get your body fat percentage, um, and then you also get uh, lean versus uh, fatty uh, uh, body composition, which is great. Um, so you get all of that together with both the Aria and your Fitbit uh, when, you, when you have both of those things together. So. We're at the grocery store today, uh, and I wanted to cover a couple things, um, because now that you've got your goals, and now that you've got your Fitbit, now you have some other things that are going on here as well. First things first, I brought this with me today, I uh, hope everybody can see it, my Gatorade 1 liter water bottle. So I never leave the house uh, in the morning for work without two of these uh, filled with water, two liters of water. Now why do I do that? Well, um, I try to drink. Uh, both of those bottles every day and then fill them up while I'm at work every day and what that allows me to do is to make, it ensures that I get at least two liters a day if not four a day and again that's one of the applets in the Fitbit ecosystem okay um, that's one of the applets um, that they have so um, I recommend at least two liters a day why again there's been an academic study done right the academic study says that if you consume as little as 30 ounces of water within a one hour period, your metabolism will increase by as much as 25% over the next four hours. So there you have it. If you're interested in increasing your metabolism, drink water, right? And uh, to give you an idea, there are in, uh, I think we worked it out uh, today, even we took a look at it uh, with one of uh, the clients I was working with today, about four and a half cups of water, uh, I believe are in one liter. Um, so that gives you an idea, uh, an ounce, a uh, cup of water is eight ounces, right? So uh, as little as 30 ounces will increase uh, your metabolism uh, by as much as 25% over the next four hours. So go and get a one liter water bottle. I use two of them, I never leave the house without them, and I try and fill them up at least once a day when I'm out of the uh, uh, home and suck them down as well. So I'm getting between two and four liters a day. Again, that's one of the applets. Excellent. Okay, another reason that I'm here today, um, I want to go through some of the foods. Um, and again, if you go to uh, goingfitbitbybit.com, you'll uh, be getting and you join one of the programs. Um, we actually work with you on meal plans, things like that. One of the things that's key to our meals um, is the almighty egg. Uh, we talked about this a little bit last time. Um, there are 20 amino acids. I'm just pulling up some of my notes. There are 20 amino acids um, that we know of. Uh, that exist. We're pretty certain there's 20 and only 20. Um, our body uh, uh, produces uh, 11 of them. Nine of them uh, we cannot produce, we must eat. Um, three of those uh, we know are critical. Those are leucine, isoleucine, and valcine. Um, eggs uh, are the highest source uh, that we know of for leucine and isoleuc isoleucine. So my preference is um, I like to hard boil uh, eggs and then I eat the egg whites. Um, we do uh, tend to stay away from yolks. But again, when you're working with the Fitbit, it's not a crazy diet. There is no real uh, major restrictions. There is no, uh, oh, you have to cook everything with Pam. Oh, uh, you know, we insist that, uh, you know, no dairy. Or, uh, oh, you can't have any more red meat uh, anymore. Or, oh, everything has to be gluten free. Or, uh, y you know, really, we, we need to stay away from any kind of crazy restrictions. You know, unless, of course, you have a health reason for it. Uh, and the reason we want to stay away from those kinds of restrictions is because we're not going on a diet. 
this is not a diet, as I've said before. This is a lifestyle change. This is a forever, right? Uh, when I went ahead and put on uh, this Fitbit uh, 18 months ago, when I started my journey and uh, began to lose my 150 pounds, and I'm still going, um, it wasn't to go on a diet and then come off of it after 18 months or come off of it after 10 months. Um, it's a lifestyle change. Um, so I, generally speaking, I like to start the day with uh, hard-boiled eggs. And for me now, uh, as my wife will tell you, for me now, when I start with uh, eggs, uh, I will start literally, I'll take a dozen hard-boiled with me. So we're hard-boiling eggs a lot at home. And when you go out to going uh, fit, bitbybit.com, we will uh, very soon, we just soft launched the website this last weekend, we will very soon be putting up a recipe section as well. Um, and I'm gonna put up a video about how to properly hard boil an egg. I know that sounds a little crazy, but when I hard boil an egg and I do it the right way, the shell practically falls off of it. So if you have ever been one of those frustrated people who's hard boiled an egg and then uh, struggled to get the shell off, well, um, when you go out to the website uh, very, very shortly, I'll have a video uh, of uh, showing you how that's done by recipe. Um, and then we'll also have just a section where everybody can be sharing recipes uh, as we go along. So the Almighty Egg, a little announcement, the Almighty Egg, very high in uh, leucine and isoleucine. Uh, so that's a great, great thing. Uh, now, I'm just walking along here. There are some other things that are super, super key, uh, things that I eat all the time. Uh, hopefully many of you uh, who are on healthy journeys already are already having them. Uh, I'm passing over the, uh, the beef case right now. Um, listen, I eat meat and beef uh, pretty regularly. I don't find any issue with it at all. Um, I, I'd say I probably only eat it four days, or uh, I'm sorry, about uh, every four days, but uh, I do eat meat and beef. It's not like something that I keep out of my diet. My diet remains very high in protein. Um, very high in protein, also very high in fat. Um, and I'm gonna talk about fats in just a second um, because I wanna cover uh, saturated and unsaturated fats and then the different kinds of uh, saturated and unsaturated fats. Uh, but right now, I'm also walking in front of, um, as you can see here, the, um, the fish case, right? Um, the seafood case. I love seafood. And one of the big things that I take with me, like the eggs that I take with me all the time, is canned tuna. Canned tuna is a big part of my uh, diet. Again, no real restrictions when you're on the Fitbit. Um, we, we talked about this uh, yesterday, I, I believe, uh, yesterday afternoon when we had our meetup on Christmas Day for all of you who got new Fitbits. Um, when you're, you wear that Fitbit 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it's measuring your metabolic rate, right? So it's constantly measuring if you're having a very active day, all those wonderful calories you're burning off, or um, if you're having a day where you're just lying on the couch all day, maybe you're sick that day, um, it's measuring that you didn't burn very many calories that day, right? Um, and so as you input your food, as you eat it, right, you're getting that green light, it's okay, you can keep eating, have another apple. Uh, if you have to, have another handful of chips, right? Um, it's okay, you got the green light, you can put it into the Fitbit and uh, you can keep eating, you're fine. Or um, you're getting the red light, right? Uh, maybe you had a slice of lasagna, right? And uh, you know you put that in your Fitbit. It said it was 500 calories, and boom, it says red. Okay, that's fine. It says red. That means you just stop eating, uh, at least uh, for now. Um, and then uh, you, what's great is you have a choice to make, right? You can go. You can uh, go for a big walk. You can go work out. Um, or if you're just going to keep sitting on the couch, well, that's fine too. You can keep sitting on the couch, um, but, you, but you're not going to turn green there for probably quite a while. Um, so that's, that's the kind of thing that Fitbit's giving you. It's giving you that constant um, feedback, which is really, really terrific. Um, okay, so I'm by the uh, uh, salad dressing aisle right now, which is a perfect place for us to talk a little bit about fats. Um, so let's do that. Let's talk about uh, saturated and unsaturated fats because I know that a lot of people get these confused sometimes and uh, it's really very simple. First things first, all fats broken down really into two different kinds. There's saturated and there's unsaturated. One really easy way to think about this is saturated is the bad fat because on Saturday night, you get to go out and do bad things. 
in a good way, right? So the saturated fats, uh, those are your bad fats. The unsaturated fats, those are your good fats, okay? And let's, let's, uh, let's cover the goodies first, okay? Those good saturated fats can really be broken down, I'm just gonna check my notes here, those can really be broken down into two different kinds, right? They're broken down into uh, polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats, okay? Um, both of those fats are healthy for you. Um, on my program, as I lost all my weight, um, I did not stray away from fats whatsoever. I love fat. As a matter of fact, you're going to find that as you get on and you go to goingfitbitbybit.com, and when you join one of our programs, right? And by the way, um, I, I mentioned this before. We set this up as a public benefit corporation. As far as I know, we are the very first uh, public benefit corp that's ever been founded with the sole mission and purpose to eliminate obesity. Very proud of that fact. Um, but when you go out there and you join a program, our goal right now is to sign up 1,000 people in 100 days. Um, and I am personally gonna take on, I'm personally taking on as a personal coach, um, a, a large set of the first customers to come on. So you folks are lucky. If, if you come on now, you're gonna get me as a coach. Um, later on, it'll be people that I'm hiring and training. Okay, but let me tell you, as I started down my journey, um, I did not stray from fat, and here's why, right? As you're doing calorie restriction, right, you can have a tendency to be what? I'm pointing to my belly. You can have a tendency to be hungry, right? And what does fat do for you? If you're hungry, it fills up the belly, right? It, it, it gets rid of that hungry feeling, right? So if you're eating high fat foods, but you're eating less food and therefore you're doing some calorie restriction, you're feeling more satisfied. You're feeling more satiated, uh, satiated, satiated. <laughs> all right? Um, but the key is let's eat the good fats, right? Let's eat the good fats. Let's eat the monounsaturated and the polyunsaturated fats, okay? Um, now I'm pointing to the salad dressings here, right? Because those can be found in salad dressings that have olive oil. And by the way, um, you don't have to become crazy while you're doing our program and read every single label in the world. But I can tell you there are only a few of these uh, store-bought brands that actually have olive oil in them. So you're far better off just using olive oil and balsamic vinegar as your own uh, from home or picking one that actually says olive oil on it. Um, uh, and then you're unsure that you will at least get some olive oil. Although many of those brands don't use, you know, a ton of olive oil. The other place, of course, you're going to get great good fats from uh, were the fish back when we were at that seafood department. Um, and then you're also going to get it, of course, from uh, some of those other sources you know about, right? Like avocados, right? Uh, they, they are a great source of good fats, as are several different kinds of nuts. And getting back to those very special three amino acids, those BCAAs, blockchain amino acids. Um, that was leucine, isoleucine, and valcine. Almonds and pistachios especially, very high in those blockchain amino acids. Also very high, very excellent sources of those poly, uh, polyunsaturated or mo and or monounsaturated fats, okay? So those are the kinds of things that I include in my diet all the time. Um, we're not at a CVS right now. Um, the cute little stuffed animals. But if we were to CVS, CVS has a great little product that I found that is um, uh, shelled pistachios and almonds, unsalted, all together in a little bag. Uh, it's green and white. Look for it over, it's actually over by the soda aisle. So if you find that, next time you're at a CVS, it's like, bingo, there you go. You can get almonds and uh, pistachios right together. Uh, the bag has essentially, for me, four servings in it, uh, which is like, I don't know, four uh, quarter cups or four, four third cups worth of nuts. Totally fills me up great, gives me all my great fats. Um, it's, you know, just a great way to go. Just a really great way to go. Uh, now, you notice I haven't talked a lot about carbs. Um, so again, think of your food, um, not again, I haven't really talked about this. Think of your food as falling into three 
different categories, the three main uh, components of food, right? It's protein we've talked about, um, because as I, as I said, I eat a lot of meat still. Um, I definitely eat tons and tons of fish. Um, we talked about fats, right? And then the third component, which I won't call it an enemy, but it's so easy to eat a lot of this that I try to stay away from it, and I find I still get plenty of it in my diet, and that's the big C, right? Carbohydrates, right? So I try and stay away from carbohydrates. Um, I think we just walked past a bunch of matzahs and everything else. Um, carbs are, car if, if there is a food that's my enemy, it's carbs. Um, and I'll tell you why. Um, what happens is, when we eat those carbs, uh, our body, if we cannot utilize those carbs immediately, that's what our body turns to fat. Our body will turn that to fat. And I haven't talked about the big D today, but um, when we talked about diabetes, um, that's, that's what your body's doing, right? You're, you're ingesting too much food, too much energy, right, for your body. Your body is producing, um, um, uh, I know some of you out there saying it for, for me, right? Your, your body's producing um, insulin, right, <clears throat> to try and deal with uh, uh, digesting uh, or, or uh, breaking down uh, that food into sugars, right? Or, or it is breaking down into sugars, and there's lots of sugar running through your bloodstream. So your body's producing uh, insulin with the pancreas, right? And at some point, your pancreas um, is getting overtired um, trying to produce all that insulin. Your liver is getting overtired trying to digest all that sugar in your bloodstream with that insulin, right? And you are essentially uh, making your cells go at uh, an accelerated rate with all of that sugar in your body, right? And you're, you're having this diabetic or pre-diabetic response, right? And all this occurs much, much, much more quickly um, with carbohydrates, right? So if I have a food that's an enemy, it's carbohydrates. Again though, when you're on a going fit bit by bit program, when you're using the Fitbit, there is no crazy thing. I can tell you last night, I had a slice of German chocolate cake and it was not a small slice. It was delicious and that's fine. Put it right in my Fitbit, I'm back on the program again, no problem. It's the holidays after all. And by the way, um, we're, we're just getting started now with a lot of clients and a lot of people, but I'm making a mental note for next year uh, for people. If you can start December and you can end December, right, at the same weight, or even having made progress. I, I made a little progress. Um, now we still have a week or two left, but I, I believe I'm going to make probably 10 pounds worth of progress, but I, I've already made about three pounds worth of progress. Um, but if you can make progress or at least maintain in December, I think that's absolutely huge. I mean, I just think that's great. That's huge because December, I think, and maybe even January, although a lot of people get on the bandwagon in January, but December is a really tough month for people, right? It gets, starts to get cold, they start to get inactive, and they go to a lot of parties, and uh, you know, there's just a lot of candy, cookies, all their fun stuff around. Them. Okay, I am in this aisle for a reason though, because uh, we did talk about food. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna have it here today, but I wanted you to show you this because I came across it the other day, and it's just a great little product. Um, not sure if I see it here. Um, but in, in this aisle with all of this wonderful canned tuna, and I can tell you at least my favorite canned tuna is this one. I'll pull it up here. It is the yellowfin tuna in oil. Again, I'm not afraid of fats. Uh, you probably can't read it because it looks backwards, but it's the yellowfin tuna, Geneva Tono. You're going to see it. You're going to see in your Fitbits. It comes out T-O-N-O. -O. Uh, if you just type in Tono yellowfin, it'll pop right up. Um, this little can accounts for four ounces. I think that's 253 calories, as I remember, because I've seen it so many times in my Fitbit. Um, great source of protein, no carbs whatsoever. I eat this stuff all the time. Um, but I just discovered the other day there is a company that is producing salmon, canned salmon. Now, at first you might say, I don't know about canned salmon. I, I, I took a whirl, I tried it, it was great. Now, some of the big companies produce canned salmon, and I'm gonna show you one of those big companies, like Bumblebee. They produce canned salmon. Here's the deal. If you look closely, Bumblebee, Starkist, all those big companies, they're canned salmon. It is all packed in Thailand. It's caught off the coast of Alaska and in the Pacific, but it's canned in Thailand. 
I'm sorry. I do not trust that journey and then the cannery over there and then the journey back. Something about that bugs me. Why can't they just can it right off the coast of the U.S.? So, but there is a company out there. Um, I don't happen to see it here in this particular grocery store, um, although I have purchased it recently. Um, there is a company out there that does sell um, a canned salmon that is not only caught in the Pacific uh, wild, uh, but it's actually packed um, right, right there, uh, either on the boats in the Pacific or are, uh, on the shores of the U.S. It doesn't get sent over to Asia uh, to get packed. So check that out. Um, now, here's what's interesting, though. Everybody knows the salmon's a great source of the uh, omega, omega-3s, omega right? But remember, I was talking about those blockchain amino acids, right? Tuna is actually a better source of the blockchain amino acids than salmon. Huh, that was a big one for me, too. I was pretty surprised at that. I was pretty surprised when I found that out. So uh, score one for the tuna, beating out uh, the salmon on, uh, on something there. I was, uh, I was uh, pretty, pretty proud of them. Pretty proud of them for that. All right. Mm. For those of you who may join late, we never leave the house in the morning and go to work without two of these, right? These are liter bottles. Fill them up, try and drink them down, and try and fill them up one more time during the day. All right. Um, one of the last things I wanted to talk about today, oh, excuse me, is uh, we have a new program going on. I know we just started this whole thing already but we already have a new program going on. And that new program, um, we call it 6,000 by six. So that's 600 by 6.com. It actually redirects right to uh, going fit, fit by bit.com. 6,000 by six, any guesses what that is? 6,000 by six? Well, I kept, I've, I've been working behind a desk quite a bit lately. And I keep looking down at my Fitbit and I keep seeing on my Fitbit and on my phone here, I keep seeing that uh, I'm not hitting, my, uh, not hitting my step goals the way I want to be hitting my step goals. I mean, here we are at like, uh, what is it, 8, 820 on the East Coast here for you guys here on the East Coast. And I'm only at 4,800 steps. What's up with that? I got a late start this morning. I started working from home. So I got crunched by a bunch of things from work at KPMG, right? And then, and then, to make matters worse, I had to go into the city, right? Uh, and I've been sitting in the city all day, um, sitting in a server room with Oracle guys, right? Uh, also a big mess. Um, and I'm not getting in the steps that I wanted to get. So, this is what I'm doing. 6 a.m. every morning, East Coast time. I'm gonna run a little exercise class, a little online exercise class, right? Um, at least for the first week or so, it's gonna be totally free. You come right back here to Facebook. I'm gonna plant the uh, Facebook uh, uh, screen, wherever it is that we're gonna work out. It's gonna be a low intensity workout. Um, this is not gonna be super high intensity, but here's the deal. At 6 a.m., we're gonna get started, and we are not gonna stop that workout until Bill's Fitbit registers 6,000 steps. And that's the deal, 6,000by6.com, right? What a great way to start every morning, knowing that you already got your 6,000 steps in for the morning, right? Um, pretty cool. So, if any of you guys want to wake up in the morning and get your 6,000 steps in by 6, just come on down and join me. Um, we have had a few people uh, signing on to become clients at goingfitbitbybit.com. We're very happy about that. Um, for those of you who've been joining this particular um, online meetup, this is online meetup number three, um, our goal is we plan to sign up 1,000 clients within 100 days. That's our goal. Uh, we are working with uh, the director of marketing at Fitbit, a uh, wonderful woman, uh, Emily, and um, she is gonna help us out contacting local media here in New York City in North Jersey, uh, in South Jersey for that matter. And um, I'm gonna be reaching out to them now that we have our website up uh, and seems to be functioning. People are able to check out with the programs. As I said earlier, uh, a, a, uh, a good chunk of people, I'm not gonna take on too many because I wanna provide great service, but a good chunk of people, I'll say maybe 25 or 35 people of the initial people who sign up at goingfit at fitbit.com, I will personally coach 
um, I will be your coach and um, I'll give you all my tips and tricks um, and then as people come on later um, they're gonna have coaches that are trained and certified by me um, so um, if you get on now um, and you get your Fitbit now um, you can get in there and you can lose 28 pounds in 28 days for 28 bucks just like me that's kind of how I got started um, and if you feel like you need to lose less or you need to lose more well you can do that as well um, and it'll all work out just fine um, but you got to get out there and get your Fitbit oh and don't forget um, everybody who joins these online meetups as long as you go out to going fit at fitbit.com going fit bit by bit uh, dot com as long as you go out to going fit bit by bit uh, dot com as long as you go out there um, and register um, uh, everybody goes out there and registers who comes to an online meetup right weekly we're giving away a Fitbit so um, you're entered to win a Fitbit weekly um, and those are actually being provided by Fitbit so um, the nice folks at Fitbit and the director of marketing Emily is providing those and uh, uh, she said I'll receive the first ones uh, after January 1st so she said you know don't expect them until January 5th 6th 7th so uh, the first folks who started on meetup number numbers one two three uh, I will announce the winner we'll get a picture of that winner we'll put that out on the website too uh, we'll have a great time okay so for meetup number three listen guys meetups one and two we covered getting we covered getting your Fitbit getting the RA scale getting goals set up in your Fitbit uh, making sure that you're using the entire ecosystem now in meetup number three we kind of delve down a little bit more into the three food components, right? Protein, fats, carbohydrates. We are not afraid of protein and fats. Carbs, we're gonna try and limit, limit on, but nothing is off limits when you're on the Fitbit program and when you're doing going fit, fitbybit.com, okay? Um, your Fitbit's gonna tell you how much you can eat um, as you input everything in, because it's reading your metabolic rate, and you're gonna wear that Fitbit 24 seven, okay? I showed you some of the great foods that I like to eat. Go ahead and uh, look up some of the foods that you love to eat, okay? Uh, you may find that some of the things that you're eating aren't that great, uh, so you might have to limit them, uh, and you might have to find some new foods, but that's fine. If you go out to goingfitbitbybit.com, we will be having a recipe section. Uh, we will have a section where uh, people can post things and, and forums where people can begin to talk with each other again, too. Okay, and as always, I can be reached at bill at goingfitbitbybit.com, um, or you're always welcome to reach out and text me or call me as well. Um, and I think that's going to conclude our particular section tonight. And look at me, I'm in the frozen section. I think I see some ice cream over here, and uh, I might be able to have like you know, a little like quarter cup. What do you think? Quarter cup ice cream? I think I could have that tonight. All right, guys, you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. God bless you. Get out there and get healthy. It all starts 